Hey, I just noticed that on the uh, Samsung Q9FN TV, the uh, Apple AirPlay setting has appeared. Um, I don't know when that happened. <laughs> um, I haven't updated this TV for a while. Uh, I don't know if they did a remote update or whether it's been there for some time. Um, but I thought it was worth looking at. If you go into the settings here, um, you can see some basic settings around whether it's turned on, how it requires a code, um, and um, whether you can unpair devices from the system. So it's quite easy to use. So on the iPad down here, you can see that within YouTube, I can go to the Chromecast icon, which I would normally see as a, a Chromecast uh, icon anyway. Um, and there's a, a Chromecast device in the middle there and then screen mirroring from the Samsung TV. And then at the top, there's the, uh, the AirPlay option. And now you can see you've got the options of where to display it. So you've got on the iPad, but I can select the TV and it will connect. And there it's asking for that code. Right, so that's now on the TV. So I can go to videos. Let's do that one. And it'll output a video eventually. And it will stream it to the TV. Sometime today, still says it's connected. Let's try another. Ah, oh, there we go. So at least something happens. A bit of a network glitch, maybe. Let's try a different one again. Yep. So it's it's quite neat. It depends on whether the um, app that you're using um, supports AirPlay. So Netflix no longer supports AirPlay. Uh, they removed that just recently. Uh, YouTube does, and I guess maybe some of the custom players that you've got might might do it. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.